Before I talk about marriage, I just want to mention singleness really quickly. If you feel like you're called to singleness, we're talking a lot about marriage up here today, but don't feel bad if you don't want to get married someday. That's okay. Sometimes God has calling for singleness too. And you can, you know, it's not as if as a single person, you can't live to the fullest for God uh, without being married. So that's the first comment I want to make. But then as a married person, I want to say that I think that it's important to view marriage as a uh, cornerstone rather than a capstone. And I think that this is something that at least the millennials that I know who are married uh, have viewed it this way is that it's not something that you know, you have to wait until after you're done with college and after you have a settled career uh, before you can get married and settle down. I always get annoyed by the BuzzFeed uh, 27 things you have to do before you get before you settle down. And there are always things like travel to a foreign country or, you know, stay out all night or something like that. I don't know. My wife and I have done fun things like, you know, travel and maybe stay out all, all night. And so it's not as if you can't do great adventurous things after being married. So treating it like a cornerstone rather than a capstone is a great way to view it.